Hi everyone, welcome back to Bukio TV. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn the bell notification on. So anytime we upload new video onto YouTube, you will be notified. Thank you. Dear Professor Yumi Oshibajo, how are you? My name is Joseph Oketruku. I'm a Nollywood actor and a social activist. I know too well that you are a pastor that you are ordained a pastor with the redeemed Christian Church of God. Redeemed is uh, probably one of the fastest, if not the fastest growing church in the whole of Africa. I know also that you have a very beautiful relationship with the senior pastor of redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Adeboye, who has, uh, for some strange reason, decided to not just get involved in the unfolding political madness in Nigeria. Very troubling. And so, Vice President, on the 23rd of February 2018, the rescheduled elections in Nigeria took place and it was almost like there was no elections. It was arguably the worst election in the history of Nigeria. The reeking during the elections was so brazen and blatant that even an unborn child watched it in full color. My dear Vice President, I am actually here to ask you a question. I always ask questions. Professor Yomi Shimbajo, can you tell me right now that you can in all honesty, in all sincerity, that you can look your wife, your children, your congregation, your church members, your pastor, your friends in the face and tell them that yes, truly we won the elections and we should be the ones ruling Nigeria now. Can you do that, sir? As a Christian, Professor Shibaju, I'm sure by now this video today should be Sunday in Nigeria. You will be in church. I am pretty sure of that. When you go to church, sir, what would you say to God? What would you say to your maker? Would you look God in the face and tell God, yes, yes, we actually won the elections. And we should be leading Nigeria right now. Would you do that, sir? I doubt if you would do that, except if, of course, you are no longer alive. It's hard to say, but I have a strong feeling that you have sold your soul. If you have not sold your soul, sir, I don't see any reason why on earth you would want to openly and publicly identify with what happened in Nigeria on the 23rd of February 2018. People died for no reason. People were maimed for no reason. Your election victory, in quote, has thrown the entire nation into mourning and people are weeping and crying and gnashing their teeth everywhere. And you are proud of this. Something is wrong somewhere. You know, in the scriptures, Christ said, it's better for you to have a millstone tied to your neck and you thrown into the deep sea than to have any one of these little ones fall into sin. Do you know what your continuing involvement in this wickedness is causing the body of Christ. You are leading a lot of people into unbelief. You are leading a lot of believers into unbelief. Many are backsliding. Many are becoming atheists. So many are mocking Christianity on account of your involvement in a regime so wicked, so heartless, so soulless. As this one in Nigeria. How can you openly identify with a regime like this, sir? This is the question I was going.
going to add. That's why I think you sold your soul. If you did not sell your soul, sir, do you know what I think you should be doing right now? I think that right now you should look the cabal, look your principal, look the Abuja politician straight in the face and tell them, look, I am a Christian. I cannot take this anymore. Except if your or God, your spiritual father, Pastor Deboye, has said, don't do it. Stay there. Because, you know, his silence is so troubling. These are some of the reasons why people no longer take Christians serious anymore. How can you be a part of this wickedness? Do you know the election in which you have been declared victorious? That election is being challenged in the court. If they don't have evidence... If they don't have any proof of the wickedness that took place in Nigeria on the 23rd of the disenfranchisement that happened on the 23rd of February. If they don't have the proof of the wickedness, of the madness, how, why should they be so convinced to go to court? Rigging has always been a part of African elections. I don't think Nigeria is an exception, but this one this one on the 23rd of February 2018 was off the chart. It was like the best that Africa has ever produced. It was so open. Everyone saw it. And a Christian pastor identifies with this. If I did not know God personally for myself, I would have thrown my Bible into the dustbin on account of you, Vice President Toshibaja. Why would you be identifying with this regime? Why? You see, personally, I don't belong to any party. I'm not a card carry member of any party in Nigeria. I don't believe in anything. On the 23rd of August 2018, I made a video that I posted on Facebook and YouTube. In that video, I was trying to explain to the people that we should not focus on the puppets, which is Vice President Shibado and his principal, and then Atiku. And these are all puppets. Everybody said, all of you guys are puppets. We shouldn't focus on the puppets. Let's focus more on the puppet masters. You see, these things are a little bit too complex for people in Nigeria. I don't know what these people are eating. Damaging their brain. The objective side of the brain is not functioning anymore. I made a video when the youths were angry, looking forward to bringing about the revolution. They created the European intelligence together with the, the, the UK and the MI5, created what we call the youth presidency movement. Which produced Shoore, Durotoye, Moral. I said it even on my Facebook broadcast. I kept saying it. I made a special video and I made videos upon videos upon videos. I said the youth should not pay attention to that. This is to carry all your revolutionary energy and put them inside a bottle and cock it and then make you to channel that energy to only one day's event which is the election because they already know that on the election day they have a plan of rigging knowing that there's nobody who can go to elections with them who will win them so they are leading you to elections like sheep going to the slaughter i made a video about it but then who was listening nobody was home i also repeatedly told them when they saw that the youth one has been contained the next one to be contained is the pan uh pan niger delta organization which is pandef you have ohaneze social cultural organizations ohaneze you have the middle belt forum you have northern elders forum you have afenifere coming together for the first time to say hey we are i think from the way things are looking we might be going for restructuring before the election the british their heart filled they like they are all agitated they were agitated what do we do? What do we do? If we leave these guys, they are going to mess this up for us. What do we do? They quickly rally together. Let's give them a tiku. They gave a tiku. And then put Obi so that Obi can quell all the reactions that could potentially come from iPub. Let's get... They gave them Obi. 
gave you a tickle and gave Obi, and that tickle promised restructuring. And all the restructuring guys kept quiet. Nobody spoke again. I spoke about it. Several videos I made. Go to my Facebook page, Joseph Ogechuku. Several videos. I talked about it. So I am not for PDP or APC. I don't belong to any party. I am for the freedom of the indigenous peoples. I have spent so much time and money fighting for the freedom of my people of Biafra. But what I am hearing now is God is even telling me that it's not just the people of Biafra who will be free in this 2019. He said the indigenous peoples are going to be free because I have taken from the British the control button with which they have held these people in bondage for so many years. God said he has taken it away from the British. But we still do not know that this has happened. That's why we are partnering with the enemies of our destiny and helping them to destroy and further destroy the destinies of the unborn children in our communities. With the generation after us, what do they have to fall back on? You are helping the British to destroy whatever is left of the Republic. Can you imagine that? And as a pastor, Professor Yomi, you openly, you think it, this is something to be proud of. That you can identify with the enemy of the freedom and the liberty of God's people. And you still have the audacity to go to church and to openly identify yourself as a pastor or even as a Christian. What has happened to what Christianity used to be? What has happened to the body of Christ? How can you be a part of this wickedness? Today, if it were not for the anger of the people, I can bet my life on this. Atiku would have conceded already. But he's under pressure and he knows better. And he knows that if he dare, if he ever dares to concede, even God himself will end his reign on earth as a businessman, as anything. He will be reduced to nothing. The pain of the people is too much the sorrow is intense the anguish is palpable this is what you have thrown Nigerians into so Atiku will not dare that's why they're going to court it's no longer about Atiku now it's beyond him I know the Europeans planned it well that by now they will convince him they will make him do this do that and then they will now join that's why they're getting everybody to congratulate the president they're getting all kinds of people even Babangida oh congratulate that you can call angels from heaven to congratulate it does not stop what is about to happen look at elections coming up on the 9th March who in the world is going to go out to vote what do you have now you're going to see the level of apathy that election and you're going to see that there's literally nobody who's going to come out an APC who can just go ahead and enjoy themselves and let's just have one party state and you think that is going to stand you really think that is going to stand how can you people be so foolish nobody's coming out to vote whatever in whoever in decides to give he would they will give Nobody's coming out to vote. Governorship elect. Who is coming out? When people have been... I told them that your PVC is nothing. It's just a way of taking you there as a sheep to the slaughter. To get... How many people were disenfranchised by Enoch? Uncountable. What did PVC do for you on the 23rd of February? Nothing. What is it going to do for you on March 9th? Nothing. So nobody's coming out. So, Enoch, go and give to the people you want to give. I know you're probably going to play some funny games and make some APC governorship candidates somewhere to lose so that you will further validate what happened on the 23rd. It does not matter. Whatever you want to do, do it. But let me just make this announcement before I close. There is a storm that is coming. <laughs> uh, 
Vice President of Shiba, this video is actually for you, so I don't want to be distracted. There's, you know, normally we hear about hurricanes in the U.S., in different places. And there's usually a before and then after video or picture of a place where hurricane has made a landfall. There's a divine hurricane that is a judgment, harsh judgment of God that is coming. I want you to look at your party and the nation now before the hurricane comes. And when it has made a landfall, after the landfall, I want you to come and take another picture. If you and all these people survive it. God will so devastate the machinery that has thrown his people into mourning. In this year, 2019, except if there is no God living in heaven, the freedom of our people will be declared from the rooftops and there is nothing anybody can... The British can do anything they feel like doing. They cannot stop the freedom of God's people. You know what happens when men clench their fists? And challenge God to a fight. You know what happens? Go and ask Nebuchadnezzar. You know, God always has a very wonderful, strange way of dealing with men who try to get in his face. Nebuchadnezzar paid the ultimate price. He was reduced to a beast. May I announce to you, to you today, sir, what God is going to do to people who have chosen to challenge him in Nigeria by sitting on top of the freedom and liberty of a mass of people. What God will do to them will reduce them to something far worse and lower than the beast which Nebuchadnezzar became. Mark my words, sir. I am not, I don't talk in the air. I don't talk anyhow. I'm not a prophet or a preacher. Any. I don't you know. When I tell you something, write it down in your diaries. It must happen. This 2019, it is not yet over. Take this to sleep as you go to bed, sir. That I said, again, my name is Joseph Okechuko, that I said that it is not yet over. Do not sleep with your two eyes closed. A defined hurricane is coming from heaven. And the judgment will be extremely harsh. I pity those who dare the God of heaven. And may God bless you and your family. Thank you so much for watching Bookie O TV. Do not forget to comment below, share this video, and click on that subscribe button. And remember to tap the notification bell. So you will be notified anytime we upload a new video onto YouTube. Until I come your way again, stay beautifully blessed.